know that cuts deep, but what do you want? Patrick Mahomes in six years has done something that I don't think anyone really felt was possible so quickly, and that is duplicate, get on pace, what Tom Brady did in half of Brady's run. Obviously, Mahomes has another half to go, but it is a heck of a start. And, Mike, do you find that graphic, as some Patriots fans do, offensive? I don't. I don't find it offensive because it's just you can't argue with the facts. Uh, the, the way they're doing it, dude, the way they're doing it is kind of the inverse of what the Patriots did, which is what, why it's so scary. Uh, the Patriots, as we all know, Tom Brady at the beginning of the dynasty, young guy, manage, you know, a quarterback who managed the game, strong defense, number one, number two in the league. And then when they got to the second half, the second three of the dynasty, Tom Brady was leading it, flinging the ball all over the yard. This is what T Patrick Mahomes is doing now. He started off as a gunslinger. He started off as the MVP, 48, 50 touchdown passes. Now he's relying on a strong defense. They scored 17 points yesterday. They didn't really do much in the second half, but they, the, the, the mental game of Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs is next level. And, and, Mike, this is what it comes down to. Against their opponents, they have more than everybody else. Maybe it's not 10 times as much, twice as much. They got a little bit more than everybody else, which is, which, which is what makes them so dangerous. Meaning just that winning quotient. I mean, that's it. Yeah. So to me, it's the eyeball test that I think makes it a fair comparable beyond all the numbers. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is the only guy other than Tom Brady that I would say has elevated his teammates to that degree. I mean, he's turned all these guys around him into winners. You know, I mean, Travis Kelsey, a tremendous, tremendous uh, talent. But, you know, not the toughest guy, but he played the toughest game. And, again, not like he's bowling people over. But what a tough winning game that Travis Kelsey played yesterday. Andy Reid, he's turned Andy Reid into a winner. Into a winner. He's turned that entire Chiefs organization into winners. And, again, it's not like a pinball machine like you just said. It's a third down when he needs it. It's a scramble when he needs it. I, I, I think Patrick Mahomes is the most devastating running quarterback in the league because it's only when he needs it. They're all sort of backbreaking, and he just has that knack. He is the closest thing to a pure winner I have seen since Tom Brady. He's the only guy that I've seen who belongs in that conversation, Mike, and the so, only guy. And so he's, he's outside of the conversation right now until – February, late February 11th, early February 12th, because he's got to win. I know Patriots fans are sitting there saying, okay, but he's only got two. Okay, let, let's see what happens. If they win on Sunday, a Super Bowl Sunday, now you're halfway there, Patriot version. I know Tom's got seven, but with the Patriots, they're six. You're halfway there at 28 years old, and a guy who doesn't have the, the Peyton Manning staring at him. I mean, Lamar Jackson's fine, Josh Allen is fine. But they're not on the level that Peyton Manning was. Peyton Manning eventually was able to get in the way and say, okay, you're not going to just have a free run so you the think, Super Bowl every year. So you think Brady had a tougher uh, field to go against? Because well, I don't. It, I, 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 I think Mahomes has a tougher field. I don't think he has a tougher field because the field's not as tough. <laughs> I mean, like, like he just beat, he beat Josh Allen and, and Lamar Jackson, who are, I'm not diminishing them. But you know, just to I keep mean, those it, are MVPs. But keep this in mind. Josh Allen has never been an MVP. Peyton Manning. MVP Calvin. Okay, but Peyton Manning, when they were when they beat them in 2004, Manning how already had already had what do you have three Super Bowl? I mean three uh, MVPs at that point. Manning was considered the best quarterback in football, even when when Brady and the Patriots were winning championships. He was considered the best. He had not only that, he had a Hall of Famer in Reggie Wayne. He had a Hall of Famer in Marvin Harrison. First round pick Dallas Card. Hall of Famer Edron James. I mean just stacked. And they eventually put, uh, kicked down the door. I, I'm not taking anything away from Patrick Mahomes. It's, it's really in praise of Mahomes. I know, I know Patriots fans don't want to hear me say it. This, is, this can happen faster okay, than well, you think is just, what I'm saying. But let me tell you, I think Mahomes' division was much harder than Brady had for 20 years. The AFC East, those 20 years, were an ever-loving joke. And when you add Joe Burrow, when you add Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, and, then let's, and let's remember, Brady himself. You know, Patrick Mahomes has only lost three playoff games Two were to Tom Brady. Two to Brady. So right. Brady never had to face. So now you got Brady out of the way. The Brady. I mean, you know what but I you mean? you got him out of the way. 
So, uh, well, yes, but the first three years. I mean, if, if, Patrick, we, Mahomes, we, we, if we, Patrick Mahomes didn't have to face Tom Brady, he might have two more. That's true. That's true. But when did the AFC West become tough? Now, it, it might Compared be Compared to the year. AFC East, Mike? I, I think pretty similar. And this is oh, like, stop it. No, no, I'm telling you, what Mike, happens. Mike, there wasn't I'm, one I'm good coach or one good quarterback for 20 years in that division. This is what I, you got an AFC East hair across your ass. But I'm trying to tell you. The division sucked. Most, most dynastic teams, and I put Kansas City in that, in that category, most of them decimate their division. Kansas City recently had a 15-game winning streak against the Broncos. The Raiders suck. Uh, the Chargers just fired their coach. The division is bad. It won't be bad because now Harbaugh is in there. Uh, you know, the Raiders look like they got a pulse again. The last couple of years, he has owned the division, and that's what great quarterbacks do. That's what great teams do. Yeah, for 20 years, there wasn't a quarterback close to Justin Herbert, not even as good as Russell Wilson or maybe even David Carr, Derek Carr, whatever. Russell Wilson the, lost his job. The uh, AFC Justin East Herbert won five games. They had nothing. They had Trent Edwards. Anyway, here's Jay Busby of uh, Yahoo Sports. He wrote the following. Welcome, Kansas City, to the loathing zone. You were a cute story before, but now America is tired of you, your star quarterback, your teddy bear-looking coach, your celebrity girlfriend, and most of all, your constant presence in the Super Bowl. Congratulations. You're the new Patriots. What the Chiefs do is win, and not just win, but win in a way that breaks your heart, win in a way that makes you wonder why you even bother trying at all. The Patriots used to do this, and so did other dynasties led by other all-time Icon Adam Jones joins us now. Are the Kansas City Chiefs a worthy conversation to the new for, to, to the old Patriots? Excuse me. Yeah, minus the cheating scandal. Sure. Like I, I think uh -huh. they are one on one <laughs> right there. Uh, they've basically done everything the Patriots have done. You add another championship, they're on pace to, I mean, surpass the early era of the Patriots. The Patriots are about to, in that first you know leg of their dynasty, they're about to hit a ten year drought. And so this is where you can really turbocharge it and jump in front of the Patriots if Patrick Mahomes, like I would expect him to do, takes care of business in two weeks and the Chiefs rack up a third. This is where you can really, you know, jump in front and get way ahead of the pace because right now he's on pace. And the parallels just keep going and going. Last team to win back-to-back -back, uh, Super Bowls, the Patriots 2003-2004. Kansas City wins here uh, and, and they're in that same category. Uh, do you think he's do you think it's too early because I do I think it's too early to say he's better than Brady is that too early for you to say that Patrick Mahomes is better than Tom Brady I, I mean I don't think it's too early to start looking at it I, I personally wouldn't say he's better than Brady uh, because Brady has seven Brady did it for 20 years Brady did it until he was 45 so until Mahomes does it I, I'm not going to say he's better than Brady but again he's on that pace and I would start ticking off other names on the list like Manning see ya Rodgers, bye. Elway, uh, you know, another one I would knock to the side. Maybe even Montana. He wins a third. It might be Brady and then Mahomes and then everybody else if he takes care of business. I would agree with that. Okay, not quite to Brady yet, but is that, is that the only one you could say that not quite when you look at tight ends, when you look at the receiving duo? Here are the most playoff receptions all time. Travis Kelsey already leads this list more than Jerry Rice. As I said last night, when you pass Jerry Rice on any list, that is a rarefied error. That is the elite of the elite. Uh, Kelsey and Mahomes have already passed Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady in terms of playoff receptions, playoff touchdowns. I don't know what the regular season numbers are, but we're focusing on this. So can you already say, Adam, as I, again, I, I asked yesterday, is Mahomes Kelsey already greater than Brady Gronkowski already? Case closed. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, Gronk won a third in Tampa. The Patriots won without Gronk in 2016, which I think Patriots fans may forget, but they didn't need him, which really should be a knock against him. Kelsey was very productive without Mahomes. You know, I think he was a pro bowler three times and an all pro with Alex Smith. Gronk never did anything like that. Gronk had to follow Brady with his tail tucked down to Tampa Bay. And so, look, Gronk is great. And, and until the last two years where Kelsey tacked on a second and maybe a third and passed Jerry Rice, I would have said Gronk is the greatest tight end I've ever seen. But when you line him up against Kelsey, the postseason production. Well, ho, what? ho, 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 ho. I didn't say Kelsey greater than Gronk. Right, 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 right. I said well, Mahomes I, Kelsey. I'm saying that. Why? Oh, oh he's not. Uh, but, but, Why? Because, because Gronk blocked? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Who cares? 
Oh, I do. What do you mean who cares? Who cares? Part of the game. What, Joe, held the what Chiefs back? About? What, it held the Chiefs back from winning championships that Kelsey couldn't block? No, no. No, he's unguardable. He's uncoverable. And he's out there every week, which Gronk was not. So, yeah, greater than Mahomes uh, or Mahomes, Kelsey is greater than Brady Gronk. Kelsey greater than Gronk. Yeah. You just said blocking doesn't – so blocking doesn't matter? It's uh, football. I, it's I, blocking and tackling. I wouldn't, I wouldn't overrate it. Uh, I think you guys are overrating it. I wouldn't overrate it. I'm just – okay. All right. Do, do you uh, – let me ask you this. Okay. Because this is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed it's in a, you. It's not ridiculous. Uh, it's just wrong. You, got, okay. you guys are – what do you want? you like blocking wide receivers too? Like, no. He, he's, he's a bigger difference maker in these games when they matter. That counts for something. But, that counts but, for more but, than blocking. But Gronk out there was – you said he's unguardable, unstoppable. You know, Gronk was pretty unstoppable as well. He had, inju- he had injuries. But, uh, but I want to ask you this real quick. Can you, can you understand why Patriots fans uh, are, ha, have a little discomfort with this conversation? And, and, and if you do understand it, why is it happening, in your opinion? Yeah, I understand. You guys got uncomfortable with the Kelsey Gronk thing. So imagine Patriots wrong. fans. That's because it's just wrong. That's okay, not. I mean, I'm sure that's how Patriots fans feel about Brady and Mahomes and the Patriots and the Chiefs. Yes, they're uncomfortable about it. So get, get as comfortable as you can for the next two weeks. It's going to be in your face.